A woman who went to Bountiful High School is hoping to start a conversation about the school's mascot. Is the use of the term brave insensitive in today's climate? Fox 13's Brian Schnee spoke to that woman tonight about her exchange with a Bountiful elected official over the matter and what she hopes to do going forward. Brian. In light of recent events regarding insensitivity and racism all across the globe, a former student here wants to have a conversation and talk about the future of the Bountiful High School Braves. I remember people wearing headdresses at the football games. I just, I think maybe a zero tolerance policy would be a positive change. Mallory Rogers wants to start the conversation. I'm an alumna of Bountiful High School and the mascot there is the Braves. So I saw that and it made me take a step back and take stock. In light of recent events, she and a friend started sending out some emails to members of the Davis School District and the city of Bountiful. One reply was not what she expected. This is the mayor. Are you an indigenous person? Are you their official spokesman? Her email exchange with Bountiful Mayor Randy Lewis, where at one point the response to Mallory says, This sounds a lot like sheep mentality that follows the BLM movement. Mallory was taken back by the response. I was hurt. Like, I felt like he was questioning my intelligence, questioning my ability to think for myself, just hurt and disappointed. We reached out to Mayor Lewis via phone and email for response, but instead we got a reply from city manager Gary Hill speaking on behalf of the city of Bountiful. You know, right now as a society, we have a pretty unique opportunity to review um, names, cultures, behaviors that are potentially offensive and Bountiful's very open to those conversations. Mallory got replies from the school district and others who vowed to start the conversations, but her exchange with the mayor struck a nerve. Continuing the discussion with him wasn't serving my goal, which is to start a larger discussion about the use of the Braves mascot. She believes the conversation should include Native Americans to weigh in on the Braves mascot. If Native people get involved in the discussion and say this isn't a problem, then it's not a problem. Um, but how can we have that conversation if we don't start that discussion? Mallory shared her email exchange with the mayor with us, which includes her email reply to his. You can find that along with a change.org petition on our website, fox13now.com. We're live in Bountiful tonight. Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah.